Thanks for clicking my channel. Today's look is going to be on this cosplay Joker. It's creepy. It's awesome. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. stay super hydrated underneath all the products that we're using today so my skin doesn't get too irritated and then I'm going to be going in with some foundation and I apologize I don't have a click for this but it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in porcelain this is quite a bit lighter than my skin tone I wanted to make sure I had a super pale face like the Joker had and I'm going to be applying this all over my face and underneath my chin and not bring it on my neck because I want to make sure we have that clown feel of just being the face painted. Go ahead and go in with some concealer. I did take two different concealers here because the first concealer that I was using was a little bit too warm for what I was looking for so I went in with a lighter concealer to make sure that it was as light as I possibly could get it and just to add that little bit more coverage that I wanted. And then I'm going in and just blending that all into my skin. And then I'm going to take some translucent powder. This is from the Ulta brand. And I'm going to go ahead and set everything that we just did. I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer and all over my face just to create a smooth base for all the other products that we're going to be using. And then I'm going to be going in with this face paint palette I got from Walmart. And I'm going to go in with that green color. And I'm going to start outlining my eyebrows. Now this part I was super excited about. I was so proud of those green eyebrows, let me tell you. But I am just going to fill in my eyebrows how I normally do. However, I'm going to make them a little bit more dramatic. And as you can see right there, that arch, I'm going to take it pretty high up and extend the tail. That way I'm making it thicker and more cartoony and more how the Joker has it. And then I'm just going to fill all of that in with that paint and then in just a second we're going to go ahead and set that with a couple different colors. electric palette I'm going to take that green color right there and I'm going to start putting that in the beginning part of my brow I'm going to take it from the inner corner all the way to the arch and I'm just going to blend that all in because you know even though we're the joker we got to have our brows on fleek and I'm going to go ahead and go in with this mac color right here um, this is a dark emerald green color called new crop and I'm going to be putting that at the arch of my brow and extending that all the way into the tail end of our brow. I just wanted to make sure I got that gradient, green, luxurious, bushman eyebrow. And as you can see right here where their skin showing, I'm actually starting to pack the product on just so I can get the desired look that I was looking for. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with some concealer and carve out the bottom of my eyebrows. Um, I'm just taking a lip pencil brush and I'm just going to draw out and blend it in with my finger and then reset what we just did with some powder. Alright, now going in with a black eyeliner pencil, you guys can use anything. Honestly, I really think gel would be better. I wish I would have used gel, but I didn't. But I'm going to put that all over my lid and then I'm going to take a stiff blending brush and I'm going to try and blend that out as much as I can. This is just going to create... A darker base so the black eyeshadow we're gonna put on sticks to it and makes it as black as we can so yes going into that tartlet palette I'm gonna take the black eyeshadow in there called fashionista and I'm gonna start packing that all over my lid and this is where we're really gonna start creating that 
huge smoky eye, if you will, that the Joker has. But we're going to start hollowing out our eye sockets and really start masking out what we're going to be doing on our face. So I'm just going into that green shadow and I'm just literally getting messy with it. This is the smoky eye. You guys do not need to be afraid to look like you got punched in the face. But every time I go in with the black eyeshadow, I go in with another blending brush just to blow it out even further. And also everywhere I on the outside where I put that black eyeshadow, I'm going in with that MAC shade new crop, that green color, and I'm putting that on the edges and a little bit on the lid of my brow just to give it that more iridescent, creepy, green joker vibe. So anywhere you guys see me putting black, I always go back over and I put that green on top. And here I am just hollowing out my eyes even further. I'm going deep into the eye sockets in the inner corner. I'm going to be taking it underneath my eye and dragging it pretty heavily. You guys will just see a lot of me putting on product and blowing it out. And this is where you guys can honestly get creative. You can make it as big and as messy as you want because the Joker is super sloppy and he don't give a fudge nugget about anything so you guys just get crazy with it but here I am pulling that product a little bit lower this is where I start dragging it and really start making it super smoky super blown out pencil and I'm gonna line my waterline and my top line just to make my eyes even darker just start making myself look dirty and you know add a little bit of contour but because the joker ain't gonna go nowhere with no contour on his face so then I'm gonna go ahead and put some winged liner on because hello I'm still a woman I still need my winged liner and throw a coat of mascara on to prep my lash my eyelashes for lashes wow that's a tongue twister and then I'm going to go ahead and go in with this Morphe 9B blush palette and I'm going to put just a little bit of that dark red shade right there and then diffuse it out just to give it more of that clowny look. And then here's the fun part. We're going to start carving out our mouth to be the Joker. And I'm going to take some eyelash glue and just place it where how far I would like the lines to be. And then I'm going to take some toilet paper. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, toilet paper. And I'm going to start ratting it up and tearing little pieces and I'm just going to pack it on top of that eyelash glue that we put on our face and this is just going to give it texture to make it look like our face and our mouth is wider and cut open. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into these number 47 lashes from Morphe because like I said this joker is going to be just a little bit glam. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with some white eyeshadow. Um, I honestly have no idea what this is, but I wanted my face to be a little bit more pale than what I have had it. So I'm just going to start applying white eyeshadow all over my face just to make myself look a little bit more, again, clown-like and joker feel. And now I'm really starting to diffuse that smoky eye that we have going on. I'm really starting to hollow out those eye sockets and drag my color down to give it more of that, well, as redundant as it sounds, that joker feel. And then for the mouth, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this MAC Red Lipstick. This is a Viva Glam from Rihanna, and this is the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick. And a little bit of Revlon Lip Gloss to give it that bloody look. And then I'm going to take some fake blood that I got from Walmart, and I'm going to start packing that 
all over that tissue paper. I'm actually using a combination of the liquid lipstick, the lip gloss, and the blood to make it look chunky, scab-like, and just lovely. And now I'm going to start carving out the letters that I wanted to put on my chest. I'm writing Why So Serious, and right here I'm just taking a eyebrow pencil just to sketch where I want it to be. And also because I had to write it backwards, so I was confused. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and go back in with that base paint palette from Walmart. And I'm going to take that red shade right there and a lipstick brush, a little tiny little thing. And I'm just going to go over those letters with that red paint to make it a little bit more vibrant. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with that fake blood to give it that carved into our skin feel. And then that's it. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I want to say thank you for stopping by. I hope you guys learned something cool today, and I hope you guys liked my rendition of the Joker. So if you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and give it a like if you guys liked it. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. To me, I'll talk and dream.